Good morning. Let's see here. This is day five. So we're almost halfway through the 12 days of noon day. So far we've given away a gift card every single day for $10 to noon day. And today, if you're entering, you could have a chance to win it. And I really love giving these away. It's so fun. So today we're featuring a Guatemala partner. This is Rosario, and she owns the business in Guatemala that Noonday partners with um, for their collections. Hey, Emily. Um, this is one of the people that they employ there. So I was just reading her story. I've really enjoyed sharing these stories with you guys, so I'm just going to read her story to you. Is when you meet Rosario, one of the things that stands out the most is that she's a woman of purpose. She believes her life has meaning, and that meaning is to make an incredible difference for others in her community. Rosario is the owner of an artisan business in Guatemala that produces beautifully crafted beadwork for Noonday. She comes from a long line of female entrepreneurs, beginning with her great-grandmother, who learned to sew and wanted to create a business to make an income for her family. Rosario and her brother, Alvaro, have carried on their family business and are using it to create opportunities for other families in their community. Life for women in Rosario's village is difficult. Women are expected to manage their households and care for their children, often with little assistance from men. Their daily tasks actually begin the evening before with grinding and soaking the masa needed to make the morning's tortillas. When morning comes, the women rise before the sun to make breakfast for their kids and lunch for their husbands to take to work. A few hours later, they start the process again to make lunch for their children, which requires walking to the market to buy fresh ingredients. They also make dinner for their families, taking care of the cleaning and maintenance of the home and care for the children. While the women are busy at home, most of the men in the village spend their days working in the field as coffee farmers, but unstable global coffee prices, unpredictable weather, and unethical landowners who do not pay on time make it a challenge for the men to earn enough to, buy, to get by on. In fact, most men in Rosario's region earn less than $4 a day, not enough to cover the cost of supporting their families or sending their children to school. Growing up in this context, Rosario saw a need for women to be able to have flexible, dignified work that would allow them to give their children the lives they dreamed of while keeping their households running. By harnessing the craft tradition that is so strong in the region, Rosario has developed a business that trains women to become bead workers from their homes. This opportunity has allowed them the flexibility they need to care for their children while also earning a meaningful income. It's clear that the additional income is making a material difference in these women's lives, but the cultural difference is just as beautiful to behold. Rosario shared that there's a strong much machismo, never heard that word before, culture among the men in her region and that many women are in relationships that are unhealthy or even abusive, but as the women are becoming breadwinners for their homes, the power dynamics are beginning to shift. Women are just are not just financially empowered, they are personally empowered, and the men in their lives have taken notice. The gender roles in Rosario's village, while still largely traditional, have begun to transform into roles that honor the value both men and women inherently possess. We've been partnering with Rosario and Alvaro's business since 2012, and since then, we've traveled with dozens of noon date ambassadors to witness firsthand the impact, incredible impact they're making in their community. In the past year alone, the business has grown from providing dignified work to 25 local families to 50. This incredible growth and impact is a testament, a testament to Rosario's vision for her community, as well as the power of partnership. By providing consistent orders, fair financing, and capacity building support, Noonday has been able to be a part of the amazing story of transformation taking place in Rosario and Alvaro's community. It's pretty sweet how quickly things can change. Um, my coach, Emily, is on the board of an uh, orphanage in Guatemala, and she has a really special place in her heart for our Guatemala ambassadors and partners. Um, I love the fact that just getting to partner with Rosario is literally changing things, um, not just for her and her family, for other people in her um, community. And then as a result, that's changing. Hey, Leah. 
the whole um, community slowly but surely gets to shift. And it's really important too. I know you can see these, um, the way that Noonday impacts the women artisans around the world in countries where a lot of times women aren't treated with much um, dignity. Um, it's not about making it so that women are treated with dignity and men are treated without dignity because of whatever, um, how unfair the culture has been to women and now you have to get back at the men or something. It's not like that. It's just about God created men and women to be equals. Um, and so I like how it shares about how um, that's just a transformation in the way that the community is thinking too of seeing that women are just as honored and just as dignified as men are. It's pretty important. So today's winner of the $10 gift card is Becky. I love her. She's amazing. She just has gotten back from a long time in Romania. And I'm really excited for her. Um, the ways that you can enter today to win tomorrow or get a chance to win tomorrow's gift card is um, being part of my Facebook group, which is called Break Forth, and following my Instagram um, for Noonday, which is at Chelsea Noonday Ambassador, by commenting and liking on the live videos, you get additional entries by adding someone else to the Breakforth group or sharing my Instagram account with them, you get an additional entry. Excuse me. And by putting a trunk show date on the calendar, you get an additional entry. Um, my dates for travel are currently filled up until this spring, but anybody in Kansas City, I'm available. <laughs> Um, I'm looking forward to doing some really creative things actually in the upcoming months um, in this local area. I want to partner with area churches for their women's conferences um, to be able to share Noonday in the foyer during the breaks and things like that, as well as I'm going to be attempting to do First Fridays in the Crossroads District. Um, that's going to depend on whether or not Luke um, has the vehicle or not and whether or not Naomi is doing well enough to go downtown with me for a little while. But I'm excited to get to share about Noonday, especially about our artisans um, and our business partners with more and more people. So thanks for being part of my audience and my support and for loving these people with me. Do you wanna pray with me for Rosario and her business? Thank you, Jesus, for Rosario. Thank you for her braveness. Thank you for her wildness. Thank you for her sweetness. Thank you that she's carrying on something that was started long ago in her family, that she's been brave enough to continue that with her brother. I thank you that you're multiplying the effects that all of those seeds sown by her great grandma and all of the people that have come before her um, are really taking effect now. And I thank you that Noonday gets to be a part of that support for their community, um, just as they're actually a support for our community. Um, it's a difference maker in my life to be able to work from home. And I know it's a difference maker in many women's lives to be able to work from home. Um, so I'm so thankful that we get to partner in this way. Jesus, would you just continue to knit our hearts together, um, especially with the upcoming ambassador trips? Would it just be an enriching time where the women that are ambassadors going um, would really be able to encourage the artisans in their walk with the Lord, that they would call them higher Jesus and to you and that they would know you more and more with every passing day. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. We'll see you later.